Hello everyone and welcome back to The Long Dark. So, last time we managed to find a very, now dark, but a very nice place with the, I think it's called the camp office. And here's our roommate, Steve. So, I've been sleeping for about eight hours from where we last left off. There's about... I think about two hours of darkness left, so I'm going to sleep those off. Okay, so now it should be... It is quite a lot lighter. Lighter and brighter. So, excellent. So, first order of business is to go down here and we're going to actually craft... Craft a fishing lure. Or a fishing tackle, rather. And using that, uh, we shall go and get ourselves something to eat. So it's still quite early morning and it is flipping. I don't know, should I, should I take the shot? I think I could make it. Mm -hmm. To the to the uninitiated that must have looked like I actually tried to fire a dry rifle. But that that is just silly. Of course I wouldn't do something like that, and not certainly not in a a game like this. Raise your head. Raise your head, little friend. If we get you, I can just um, grab the meat I can and leave the rest to... to... Oh! Oh! Well, that was the weirdest death ever. But I did actually manage to get a headshot, so... Bravo me, I suppose. Hello there, friend. I have no other tools aside from the hatchet, so I'm going to take the hide, I'm going to take the gut. I'm going to take about... Let's go with the three kilograms of meat. I'm probably going to be rather cold and other things. Okay, I am thirsty as all hell. Let's see, so the deer head points that way, so that way is the cabin, yes. I, I can't imagine being out on the lake in this weather. Could be rather... Perilous, I suppose. So let's have a bit of a drink. Because I'm quite dehydrated. Quite dehydrated indeed. And I'm going to... I don't know if the meat keeps better if it's outside, but I'm going to leave a couple of blocks here outside in nature's big-ass freezer. Hello, Steve. I killed a deer. With my gun. Goodbye. So I'm actually quite warm, still well rested, just feeling a bit peckish, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the gut and the leather. Hmm, I'm also going to drop the cured leather and I'm going to drop the fur firewood as well. Then I'm going to eat a couple of candy bars to regain some calories. Possibly gonna drink one of those sodas. Because it is... I, I don't know. I find, I find it weird how some things can deteriorate that quickly. Okay, so now I'm I'm full... I'm, I'm good on everything else. I am a little chilled, maybe. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'm a little chilled, maybe. So overall, we should be we should be totally fine going outside. 
Yeah, I think it'll be it'll be all right. So first order of business, the cat tail has regrown, or these could be totally different. So I'm just going to I'm going to follow the banks. For now, I remember seeing the little fishing pots or whatever out on the ice, but for now the real order of business, the real first order of business is to go around and get the get to the cabins on the other side. Okay, a bit of fur. So I'm gonna crack that up. Fur is a good wood. It, it burns a solid hour and a half, I think. It does take a bit more time to chop down due to the fact that it, it behaves like a hardwood, even though the game does point out that it is in, indeed not a hardwood. So it burns um, possibly the longest. The fire log, the artificial fire log, might burn longer, but I'm not quite sure on that. So this is the western access to the Mystery Lake. I'm going to make a wild guess and assume that I can also find some sort of an outlet from the lake. Uh, a river, if you will, heading kind of downstream-ish. But there are the lake cabins, and that's a... Very nice pier. So this is a, a cedar limb. So I'm going to chop that up as well. I'm still doing rather well, um, thanks to the protection from my clothing. And I have had tremendous luck with the clothing. Finding all those, finding the mariner's pea coat, very good. So, oh, lantern fuel. Which can be very, very helpful. I did foolishly. Nobody needs this anymore. Hmm. I did foolishly use all the fuel I had when I neglected to a peanut butter jar and some instant coffee. Peanut butter very good for survival situations because it contains quite a lot of energy and, and protein. I suppose. I think it's protein. Not really. Not really sure. It does contain a lot of energy and good fats. Oh, that's the door. Okay, so a bit of reclaimed wood. And... A roll of newsprint. I, I do hope there's something good here, and no. Hmm. Maybe in the box? No, nothing in the box. Oh, a rifle round. That is excellent. Okay, so the next cabin. And what do we have here? That is a book. Some tomato soup, so... It appears I can't escape tomato soup in any of the games. Except for renowned explorers, I suppose. I mean, tinned stuff like that is very good for, well, any kind of bigger food stock due to the fact that even if it goes off, it might not go off terribly if it's a good quality kind of can situation. Um, I know some kind of, some types of cans can leach stuff into the food, but for the most part I assume it's going to be okay as long as it's like a high quality thing. Overall, so maybe not go for the cheapest, but go for the second cheapest instead. I don't know. All I know is that I've had perfectly good 
exp expired ham, and I know Stuart Ashens has had some beautiful, beautiful experiments with food on his channel. Hmm, that's burned down. I wonder if that happened during the whole, whole thing with, well, Steve here's dead. So I wonder if there's any any connection here. I don't know. He looks like a shifty fucker. Yeah, just just look at his little face. That's the face of absolute, absolute pyromaniacal misery. Pyromaniacal, I suppose, maybe. Yeah, that sounds better actually. I'm watching it. Okay, and oh, some salty crackers. They will make you thirsty. Well, I've known a salty cracker to make a man thirsty. Oh, and a fire log. Doesn't throw off much heat. So it's a fire log made of chemicals and compressed wood shavings, and it is hollow. It might come in handy. You never know when you need a hollow log, you know, in a post-apocalyptic situation. Okay, so this house looks like it's been burnt down as well. Uh, compared to the other, other kind of destroyed little houses, th these two are clearly burned. The, the centre one is totally fine, so I assume the inhabitant of the centre one burned down his neighbours. An act which I can somewhat support, actually. Uh, the interesting thing with all the indoor locations is that they do behave quite like TARDIS, in that they are massive, massive inside compared to the outside dimensions. Or, or maybe that's just me being funny, but I do feel like they are a bit, bit bigger on the inside. So it looks like I should have plenty of firewood after this excursion. Uh, with the deer carcass, I don't actually have to worry about... Oh, there's a cabin there. Um, I don't have to worry about fishing quite yet, but it would be a good idea to... Okay, so there's a fishing cabin there. I think the... Oh, and there. I think the fog might be lifting a little, which would be excellent. Just excellent. I'm actually going to holster my gun. So I'm getting a bit winded, a bit peckish and a bit thirsty. I am still doing excellent on the warmth. So, I don't know. Just had tremendous luck with the clothing, I suppose. For the most part, I'm going to leave all the furniture in these cabins, and generally the furniture that I find, as long as I do have other firewood. Uh, the reclaimed wood can also be used to craft things, craft little snares for bunny rabbits and the such. So I'm a little hesitant to just burn all of it. It would be a very embarrassing I suppose and also a very tasking <sighs> tasking job to go outside and, and to actually find a new area where I to I don't think I would run out all that quickly but I might have to travel quite quite a long way to find more oh a hunting knife that is excellent the hunting knife is oddly enough the best tool for dealing with the carcasses and other things like that. Oh, some scrap metal and a tin of sardines. Now when the um, when the got cures I can actually make um, some more fishing tackles. I'm not gonna be able to carry this load for much longer. Hmm. I do apparently have a bit of a 
heavy, heavy load, so I might actually... I might work myself to that fishing lodge, or fishing hut, and just relieve my load there, as it were. I think I can... I think there's the cabin, so if we go ar come around here, we can actually probably, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, I could be totally lost, but I think the, like the camp office where we're based, it's, it's either, it's either down there or it's somewhere down there, and that's a corpse down there. So, whoop. Door. Door. Ooh. Sardines. Beef jerky. Nothing and... Could be something and nothing. A basic wool scarf. Oh, some matches. Matches are always nice, even if the cardboard ones aren't that good. They're not also... They're also not awful, they're just... They're a decent way to get the fire started, but the wooden matches are far better. Far, far superior. Hello there. You look very similar to Steve. Are you his brother? Also named Steve. And a basic winter coat. You don't need it anymore. So, yes. There's the cabin, so... Yeah, so I do think the camp office is down there because I followed the I followed the shoreline all the way around, and there's the there's the fallen down trees over there. So gather up a bit of oh a line, excellent. Now I can actually just craft a hook and then craft a um a fishing tackle. I am just carrying way too much at this point. I, I would, I should really. Well, on the positive side, I, I'm still doing really well on the warm. So all I need to do now is just need to head back to the camp office, unload there, and maybe do a bit of maintenance on my gear. I know the axe is not in the best shape anymore. It's not. It's also not in in a terrible shape. But I do believe in maintaining my supplies and maintaining my equipment now rather than when they're actually totally fucked. Sorry about that. Oh, another hatchet. Oh, another sewing kit. Very nice. And a water bottle. Okay, so it does look like today I, I won't have to worry about fishing. It, it's nice to have one of the fishing hots so close. There you can just barely make out the Canadian flag. But the nearest fish, fishing hut is quite close to me. So it won't be a problem to just hike over. It could be a pro problem in a snowstorm or in heavy fog. But I, I trust that I can take... I, I can use some of the bigger rock formations and the islands over there. The small islands as some sort of pathfinding tool. Hello there, I shot your friend. Is that why you're running away from me? Is it because I shot your friend? With this gun. Now that I'm carrying quite a lot more, you can actually hear the snow crunching under the character's feet.
At least I think that's the... That is the snow. You never know. It started to snow. It is definitely one of the more beautiful survival games out there. A lot of the survival games do tend to look a bit rough. But I think here, due to the... Well, firstly, due to the single-player nature and due to the graphical aesthetic, the developers have managed to do something that is actually truly very beautiful. And I think that's a great thing. Okay, so time to do some inventory Tetris, and that is probably going to involve mainly just dropping things like that. So let's put the beef jerky on the shelf. I do feel a bit funny doing this. It's going to keep, help keep stock without actually weighing me down. The candy bar can go there for the time being. Let's get the jerky out first. So, there we go. Did I have another package of jerky here? No, apparently not. So, let's put the firewood there. I'm a little disappointed you can't stack the firewood. That would be actually really nice. But I'm not one to complain about these situations. Okay, so my birch saplings are 27% cured. The gut is going at 22, as is the fresh deer hide. This is actually some already cured leather, so it can go there on the top of that little cupboard. And then the candy bar can go up top here. Now, we found some dog food, which is probably not the most pleasant thought, but it probably does contain quite a lot of good eats. Speaking of which, let's also have a bit of a bit of a drink and possibly a soda. Hmm. So I can also go the vegetarian route, I suppose, with the cattail stalks. Um, they're not very, very filling at only 150 calories. But it's not bad. It is certainly not bad. So, salty crackers. You go up there, you salty cracker. Some dog food. Um, let's go tins on that shelf. Soup. Hmm, I don't know. We're gonna ha go have to go with the peanut butter top because it's not a tin, it's a jar. No, that's a tin of peaches, so it goes there. And that is a tin of dog food, so it goes there. Then two more tins of sardines, which go here. Hmm. 
I don't know, the cattail stalks might actually take up way too much space up here due to the not stacking. Okay, it's not the prettiest site. Let's go there. Okay, so not the prettiest site, but I suppose it'll do. So what else did we pick up that weighs a metric ton? We did pick up a better axe, or a better hatchet rather. So I think I'm going to drop the, the beat up one. For now. Also going to drop the arrow and the rifle. Let's sharpen a bit of the... Okay, so we have sharpened it. Uh, unfortunately, the sharpening doesn't really do quite all that much. It, it also... Luckily, it succeeds always, but it only improves the condition by 3%. So if I wanted to actually sharpen it all the way, I'd be here for just forever. But it, it is too that sharpening or something like that does take a fair bit of time. It is not a quick quick pro project and actually for something like that I, I assume you would normally just dedicate an afternoon to maintaining gear. all of these up and all of these up I'm gonna take the hunting rifle and the hunting rifle I shall place yeah let's put it there on the edge pointing straight at the bed I'm gonna sleep in and then we'll take the arrow and we'll just lay it down there it is a bit crooked but I assume that didn't hinder the killing of the deer I pulled it out of. So for the firewood I'm just gonna stand here and drop all the fur. I'm gonna stand here and drop all the cedar and I'm going to stand here and drop the fire log. So there we go. It's starting to look a lot more organised, I suppose. Okay, no need to pick up the books, as we don't actually need them right now. Picking them up would just be... Those are actually in better condition, so I'm going to harvest these ones and start repairing the clothing. These are also just in terrible repair, so I'm just going to get rid of them. Mm. No, the fleece is not... It's light, but not particularly windproof. I assume the, the weight of my clothing does have an impact on, on me becoming more tired. But it's also, it's also kind of a situation where if I'm not wearing proper clothing, I'm going to freeze to death. And I think th there's two things that need to be done in this game. One is not freezing to death, the other is not getting eaten by anything. Eating, fine, yeah, let, we could add that there. But for the time being, it's not freezing and not being eaten. Our jeans could also do, well, get a bit of repair. Oh, failed.
Okay, so now the everything that needs to be repaired seems to be repaired. Just gonna drop the clothing that I'm not gonna wear currently, and possibly use my. Let, let's go for the fire log. Well, yeah, let, let's go for the, yeah, let's use the accelerant, I do, I do want to actually start the fire, so there we go, I'm going to take a couple of fur logs and toss those on, so now we've got a good five hours of Five hours of fire. Let's organize a bit here. So, all that stuff goes there. Let's get the winter coat on there and the scarf on there as well. There we go. Do we have something else that is particularly heavy and we need to get rid of? No. I, I could drop one of the bottles of antiseptic. I'm going to drop the better one. Or the one in better condition. Everything else seems reasonable to carry around. I, I think I spied, weirdly enough, Where, oh where, is the kerosene that it so helpfully told me I could use to light the fire? This is very weird. I'm actually gonna... I'm actually going to grab a torch. Because I, I certainly do not remember picking up a, a can or of ger uh, kerosene. So I am rather, rather pl puzzled by this. It's not under here, no. Nothing here. Not even Harry Potter. Nothing here. It's not there. It's not there. Not here in the corner. Oh, actually there was a whetstone that I had neglected to pick up there just goes on to prove that I didn't actually do a proper thorough search unfortunately so okay well weird thoroughly weird but it looks like it's going to I am still in in good health and well, in good condition, rather. So I'm gonna... Have a bit of an exploration. And rage against the machine a little. I'm going to explore a little down here and pick up a few sticks on my way. Hopefully I'll run into something intriguing on this lake trail. But I think... I think we're rather well set for now, which means that I can start launching expeditions properly outside. The first order of business is always to establish some sort of base of operations and make sure that you've actually got the supplies necessary for surviving. So I'm taking that, as this is the lake trail, it'll lead back to the lake. Oh, I'm getting quite tired actually. So this, this will... Down there is going to be the lake. I should actually stop running due to my tired 
condition. Okay, so for now, due to the fact that I am starting to be tired, I'm going to head back. Just follow my footsteps and return to the camp office. The cabin is just a, well the camp office is just a short way ahead, but interesting thing here is if you, if you consider this, in this world, in the game, there are basically no electronic, uh, electronic appliances that function anymore, and a lot of this has gone back to, I, I'm alone, I need to fend for myself, and a lot of this has gone way way back in time if you think about it if you just take a moment to look this scene would not be out of place in a game set during the middle ages or even possibly as well I hate to bring something like this up, but you could argue that something like this might not be an un uncommon sight in Far Cry Primal. <coughs> okay, so you can fuck right off. I wonder if I provoked it. They shouldn't attack me unprovoked, but now that my la uh, torch has gone, we're gonna go inside. Okay, so I'm gonna shove the ruined torch in there, along with a couple of sticks, and the rest of the sticks I shall drop here. So as you can see there, I can actually carry a lot less now that I am feeling tired. I'm also going to have a bit of a drink because my mouth is getting dry. Of course you, ha you have to remember with water you have to remember that it too has a weight. Hmm. I'm going to make a cup of herbal tea rather herbal tea. And drink that because it, it's su it supposedly gives uh, a better rest. And also it is a bit of calories. So yeah. I think we are well set for today, so the next episode will probably be all about exploration, I'd imagine, at this point. I'm also going to probably get the rest of the deer carcass, but for now, I think we're well set. I think we're well set, and we've survived. for almost three days.
So, the weather for the expedition sure does look nice. So it could be that we are not going to do the expedition. But that will all be settled in the next episode. So thank you for joining me.